For centuries, our hair has been a way to express our creativity and culture. But imagine if it meant the difference between life and death. Hi, my name's Zainab J. I'm a freelance makeup artist from London and I work in film and television. Today I'm going to be recreating some methods of hairstyling that were essential for the survival of African people. For our people, hair has played an important role in survival. Our ancestors would place rice, seeds, and sometimes gold on the scalp between two sections of hair. They did this so that if they were captured and forced to voyage across the Atlantic, they'd at least have a small amount of food for sustenance. The technique was also used if they were planning a brave escape. Seeds and gold could help them build their new life. Finding out that people hid food in hair was really a shock to me, but I also wasn't surprised because I don't think there's a style that is more meaningful than braiding. It's been used for so many reasons throughout African history. It makes the style even more meaningful, even more powerful. It gives me even more of a reason to wear braids proudly. In the 1800s, African women were required to keep their hair covered in head wraps, except on Sundays, when some could remove the wrap and style their hair for church. When left with nothing but their spirit, resilience shone through. Butter and other household items were used to moisturize and condition. With no combs or brushes available, they'd use wool carding tools to comb through tangles. It wasn't much, but it was one little moment when they could feel human again. They'd even use bacon grease for hair care and protective styling. hair could talk, it would tell you a story of power. There is no bad texture. Our coils hold the DNA of survivors. Be proud. Be bold. Be unapologetically yourself. <laughs> <laughs>